Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are getting into our October faves, I believe. Yes? Yes, October. I definitely have some standout staples for this past month, so if you guys are interested in hearing a little bit about those, then just keep on watching. I mean, obviously this was my number one favorite for the month. Hello. It's me. Other than that, Makeup Forever really just went in for the kill this month. Like, that's all I can say. I have three Makeup Forever products that I have been using every single day. One of them is a newer product that I just got uh, recently within the past week, week and a half. Uh, but the other two I actually got towards the end of September, I believe. Uh, the first thing is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. Now, I don't feel like I would love this foundation as much if it weren't for the actual shade or color that I'm using. Um, I'm using, like I mentioned in my uh, top five fall essential makeup video, I mentioned that I had switched the undertone of my foundation because Makeup Forever actually sent me uh, more of their like red undertoned foundations. They sent me uh, two yellow undertones and a red undertone, which is this one right here, which I never wear. But the shade I've been wearing is R330, or it was previously, I believe, shade 130. Uh, so this does have more of a pink undertone to it, but it just like, I mean, can we just look? Like it is a perfect match for me. And in the past like three videos I've done, I've been wearing this foundation. And so many of you guys have been like, oh my gosh, that foundation literally looks like your skin. Like it matches so good. And it's really odd because when I first apply this to my face, it kind of looks a little dark on me. It looks like it's actually like if you hold it up to my face and I don't have makeup on, it looks really dark. But once I buff it in, it's almost like it just adjusts to my natural skin tone. And I just, I'm completely blown away with every element about the new Ultra HD formula. You guys know I love the Ultra HD stick and I love the liquid version. This color is on point and this foundation is phenomenal. Makeup Forever also sent me all of their new primers and I've really been loving the nourishing one. And this does not feel like a typical primer. It doesn't feel like anything that's going to fill in your pores. But whenever I put it on, I feel like my skin is really hydrated and ready to go. They do have a hydrating formula, but something about this one I like a little bit better. It also smells really nice. It has a nice fresh and clean scent to it. Uh, but I've really been enjoying this with the Ultra HD formula. Like, I feel like this combo I have going on with my foundation routine right now is just foolproof. Like it lasts all day. It just doesn't like look like crap throughout the day. It doesn't fade. It doesn't patch on me. Um, and I do have a makeup tutorial coming up on this look right here. I don't know which one of these videos will be up first, uh, but I do have kind of like an updated foundation routine using these products. Uh, but yeah, I've been loving this nourishing one. It feels great on my dry skin. This is the newer Makeup Forever product that I actually went to Sephora and purchased. And I really wanted a good uh, pressed, like translucent powder to set that foundation with. I use my Laura Mercier uh, loose setting powder to set my under eye area to kind of like bake underneath there. But I wanted something just to slightly set the rest of my face. And I went into Sephora and I knew I wanted to go to the Makeup Forever section just because that's the foundation I've been using. And they had this compact sitting out and I didn't really think it was that special until I touched it. And when you touch it, it's just barely any product comes off on your hand, but it's almost like it turns into a priming product. Like, it feels so unique. Me and my friend both put it on our hands, and then we went up to pay for our stuff. And I said, do you feel your hands right now? And she was like, yeah, they feel so good. This powder is just like awesome. I mean, I don't know what it is about it, but when you put it on your hands, like your hands feel like silk afterwards. And I don't know about you guys, but I would like my face to look like silk. So I picked that up and I have really been enjoying it to set like the outer perimeters of my face. Since I do use Laura Mercier all throughout here, I've been using this to set everywhere else. And it is awesome. It photographs amazingly. 
Um, I can't say enough good things about it. They do make this in a uh, loose form as well. Let's talk about blush and highlighter. These are literally the only two that I have been using this month. And this is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Your Love is King. That's really hard to say. Um, but I mentioned this again in one of my previous videos, the top five fall essentials. And this is not like typically a blush that I would wear, but it's just like so pretty. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just literally, I like it. I can't describe it. Like most of you guys would probably look at this and be like, uh, it looks purple. It looks like a Barney color, but it, I don't know. Something about it works and I've really been enjoying it. It's a great fall like berry tone blush. I'm back to my trusty Benefit What's Up highlighter that is what I am wearing today. But since I have been baking my face a lot, that sounds so like weird. I've been like cupcaking up my face. I've been sourdough breading up my face. I've been sugar cooking my face. But, but since I've been using a lot of powders on my skin with that Ultra HD foundation, I really wanted to bring some cream products back into my skin to give it a little bit more life. So I decided to go back into my little highlight and bronzer drawer and pick out my Benefit What's Up. I have had this for a couple years now and it never fails me. It's probably one of my favorite highlighters. Definitely my favorite cream highlighter. It always just looks so natural on your skin and it really does bring that skin-like appearance back to your face. So this is what I have been using pretty much for the entire month of October. I picked up these two brushes from MAC, one off of a recommendation or not, not like a personal recommendation, like I don't know these people in real life, but I have been seeing um, Desi Perkins and Nikki Tutorials talk about this brush and it's the MAC 135 brush and I love this for contouring, like it really does give you that precise contour, but also my guy PJ, shout out to PJ at MAC at uh, Green Hills in Nashville. Seriously, if you guys live in Nashville, you need to go visit PJ at the MAC. He is literally probably the only person that has ever been able to answer every single question I have when I go into a Mac store. Like, it never fails when I go in. People just, they don't know how to answer me or they don't know what I'm talking about or they try to suggest stuff that I don't want. And PJ literally is so knowledgeable. Like, do you see my hands right now? So freaking knowledgeable on everything. And um, he suggested that you could use this brush. Like if you are a person that doesn't like a lot of powder, you can use this just for a really light setting of a translucent powder. Um, but he did say that it is really good for contouring too. And that's what I've been using it for. It is a great brush. I also picked up this one off of his recommendation. And this is the MAC 137 brush. So it's kind of like a tapered highlighting brush. But since I haven't been uh, using like a powder highlighter this past month, I've just been using this with that Makeup Forever uh, translucent powder. And that's what I've been using to set like the outer parts of my face. And just like this brush, it just picks up the lightest amount of product. They are so soft, like ultra soft, great quality. Um, so if you're looking into some new makeup brushes, these are awesome. Since my lashes have been growing a bit uh, from using the Revita Lash, I have went back to using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, and this is just a really black mascara that has a standard skinny wand on it, and I generally will just use this for my lower uh, lashes, but I actually use it on my top lashes one time this month, and after I did that and saw like how great it looked since I actually have eyelashes now, I've been using it ever since. And this is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, I've had this for, or the first time I picked one of these up was whenever I got my uh, pro discount. I think this was one of the first things I ever bought. And that was two years ago. So I've been using this for about two years and I absolutely love it. It's a great separating mascara. It reminds me a lot of Bare Minerals Flawless Definition. Um, I do think that this lengthens just a little bit more though. For a standard eyeliner this month, I've actually put down my Teddy or Smolder eyeliner for MAC. That's what I normally use pretty much every single day. And I've been using the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencils. 
and these are um, if you watch my video with Alex where we did a haul I talked about these and these are basically um, soft eye pencils that pretty much go on like a liquid formula they're really pigmented really smooth really creamy and they are waterproof they stay on really well um, and I've been loving this shade called brulee which is just like the standard brown I've also been using the black a lot since I've been doing winged eyeliner pretty much every day this month I have been loving this dry shampoo by Redken. This is the two day extender and it's from the Pillow Proof line. This is such a lightweight dry shampoo, yet it's still effective if that makes sense. Um, a lot of dry shampoos I feel like go in your hair and you, you just know that it's in there and it prevents you from like styling your hair properly or your hair gets kind of like crunchy and this doesn't do that it really does prolong your actual hairstyle um, and I have been using this literally ever since I've got it it has a nice subtle scent to it and I am used to the Dove dry shampoo which the smell of that one is definitely more fragrant uh, but I still like the smell of this one. It's just really subtle. It's nothing that I think would, you know, bother someone. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good dry shampoo for me. I also talked about this product in my 5 Fall Essentials. And this is the MAC Pro Lip Palette in the shade 5 Modern or 6 Modern Browns. And it basically just has 6 brownish kind of peachy lipsticks in it actually there's really only like one peach color in here and that's peach stock but if you missed that video i will tell you the names uh, that are in these it's peach stock half and half frenzy fresh brew taupe and paramount and i wore paramount in that video um so if you want to see what that looks like i was wearing it there but this is just a great fall lip color palette like a staple if you don't have any fall lip colors if you feel like you need to like stock up this palette would be something to look into um there's a color in here called i think it's the frenzy um yeah it's this one right here it looks so ugly it looks like a bronze lipstick literally it is a frost finish but when you put it on it is so pretty you guys like so pretty um i wore it in um an instagram picture and a ton of people were asking me what it was and it's something that you could top off your actual lipstick with if you wanted like it almost has like a beachy vibe to it which i know isn't really fall appropriate but dang i love that color like i'm just gonna tell you guys that's probably my favorite color in this palette so far the last thing i want to talk about is the urban decay vice i almost said naked the urban decay vice 4 palette and this has been such a fun palette for me because I normally don't step outside of my comfort zone um, but this palette really made me do that and if you guys saw my um, Miami Fever tutorial I used like more of the orange tones in here and then on my blog I used um, some of these like greenish tones on there so it really allowed me to kind of step out of my comfort zone and try something new as opposed to doing just all neutral colors but there are a lot of really great neutrals in here it's not just strictly color um so yeah i have been loving this palette mainly because um for a while i was in a rut and i either wasn't wearing eye makeup or i would just wear winged eyeliner and no eyeshadow and when i got this in it kind of like revived my soul like I felt comfortable enough to kind of like play around and do some different eyeshadow looks and a lot of you guys were noticing that a lot of people have been saying like wow I've really been enjoying your looks they've been so different recently um, and I have to give it to this little guy right here because it just kind of challenged me to try something different and not just keep doing the same looks and for a while I lost touch with actually liking to do my eye makeup I really just that was something I dreaded. I hate doing I hated doing my eye makeup and I've said that in several videos before and now I kind of like to sit down and just try out new things um, and I know that sounds weird for someone who does makeup and who talks about makeup all the time but I kind of just got in a rut and I was just so glad that this got me out of that. Okay guys, so that is it for my October favorites. Let me know what you guys were loving in the month of October. And feel free to leave your video requests down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.